Hi everyone, so today is our last day in Italy unfortunately and today I am with a very special person called Elettra. We decided to stay in their farmhouse. In their farm they grow hazelnuts and saffron as the main products. In the farm there lies this magnificent centuries old chestnut tree Castagna Granda owned by Elettra's family. Here I am in their hazelnut field. The room that we stayed in was of blue theme. It was very cozy. The bed was big, comfortable. Everything was spick and span, extremely clean. Thank you so much, Elettra and Claudio, for making your farm available to us for the overnight stay through Airbnb. Link in the description below. Elettra very graciously agreed to be featured in the video. Here's this yummy breakfast that they offer their guests every morning made from their own products. The name came from two different uh, origins. The first one was the first name of her grandfather and Sapore is like savors taste so it's like it tastes like a wordplay so now she has graciously agreed to give us a tour of their farm so let's let's check it out together so she was saying that their soil is very sandy because of which they can grow saffron culture saffron flowers which is really uh, probably unique in italy i have never heard of italian saffron i'm including Actual photos taken at the farm when the saffron is in season. It's like really sandy. Probably several years ago there was a sea here. That's their saffron field. How cool. We, we plant uh, with uh, this uh, little hill mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, because uh, um, the water can flow away. Away, and, uh, okay. And don't stay, uh, in, uh, I see. Cool. Near uh, them. Okay. <laughs> oh. One is our Castagna Granda. Oh. Wow. Older chestnut tree. In that Europe. is crazy how huge it uh, is. The, the, the old, one of the, the oldest. And uh, it uh, um, surely uh, is uh, 500 years old. My God. Uh, but it could be um, 1000. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's huge. They enjoy the chestnuts with their own family, but it's not for sale. Field. Uh -huh. And uh, here uh, are uh, uh, saffron. Oh, <laughs> the first, uh, that we planted. Okay. As, uh, uh, we don't sell it. It's uh, like a uh, um, experiment. Uh, okay, experiment. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Cool. And, uh, wow. Hazelnut. Look at and, that. And uh, we are. It's the time to that is so pick up cool. the hazelnut. There is a, a machine, mm -hmm. uh, we use two kinds, uh, one kind is a little, we can take it uh, on the back, mm -hmm. uh, when we come home uh, I show you, mm -hmm. uh, that uh, uh, only do this, so it's air that uh, and we can move the hazelnut all together and do this. Um, mm -hmm. This work. Mm -hmm. And then uh, there is another one that uh, pass uh, is a bigger, you have uh, to, <laughs> to have a car uh, okay. for, uh, for that. And then uh, how many kilograms of hazelnut did you produce last year? Uh, I, I don't know the name in English uh, of the unit <laughs> because are 2,000 of kilograms. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Two wow. tonnellate. Um, Two tons. Uh, yeah. In the bad year and in the good one, but we have a, a really good <laughs> year of because of the weather. Yeah. Uh, for uh, uh, we can have 
four or five uh, thousand Tons. of kilograms. Oh my god, that's a lot. Wow, cool. So, uh, they, they are on the you can enter uh, yes. on the trees. Yeah, Th this that, is... that one are uh -huh. the best uh, illies oh of my god, the best. Uh, the, yes, okay. the worst uh, illinois of not mm. even. Uh, uh, Oh my god, they are stink bugs. Yes, Ooh. and they eat uh, hazelnut uh, really a lot. Oh. <laughs> we ate them oh. uh, because uh, they are not uh, uh, European. Ah, okay. And uh, we have uh, also, but we have green and we have uh, dark, that one and that are like brown mm -hmm. and are. Um, yeah, invaded. <laughs> mm. But then, in invasion. Yes, but I have a question. Why are some of the leaves burnt and um, some of them are not? It. Um, uh, this year we are we have a lot uh, because of the weather because okay. it doesn't rain. Yeah. And. Uh, but uh, it happens. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, in the life uh, of the trees uh, because. Uh, um, I don't know the name in English, but hazelnut is not a real tree like with uh, okay. um, a body. Uh -huh. It has a little one, oh. a lot of little one. In, yes. in Italian, we call it arbusto. Okay. I don't know. It's a kind of plant uh -huh. that is not... Uh, one stem, but multiple small... St I, I mean, I call this as a trunk or stem. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, multiple small... St okay. When, when, when I have a line, I check the name in English. Sure. Sure. But then, what is the significance of that? Significance of this multiple versus only one. That uh, yes, uh, that uh, some um, some uh, can uh, die and uh, is in the life uh, of uh, of the, oh, the tree. <laughs> okay, okay. So if one dies, there are already others to, to sustain. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, understood. Sir. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> so this is male or female? Male, male, okay. But uh, no grown up. Okay. It's really little. Okay. And uh, in uh, uh, February, mm -hmm. uh, it uh, it's okay. Okay. And in February, the um, female flower that is uh, really little and green, uh, you, uh -huh. you can see uh, in the. <laughs> okay. In uh, in the if you don't check the tree, you can see it. Okay. And. Uh, it burns later. Okay, so. but then is it the bees that are taking the male to female no, or no, how? No, like? it uh, needs only wind or. Um, oh, okay, just by wind. Yeah, okay, yes, okay. Yes. Hi. So behind me is their farmhouse and they have like three rooms which host uh, people. I must say this was one of the best Airbnb experiences that I've had. Thanks to, of, of course, Claudio Elettra, her mother and her grandmother. So I'm feeling so lucky to have, uh, to have had this experience. So, grazie mille. Hi, Banu. How are you? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. All of their products are available online. I will put the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.